many of us want to know what love is, but maybe that's not the right question. Maybe what we should be asking is not what love is, but what love does. From the second I saw you, felt your energy near me, I knew in absolutes that you were important to me. You were instantaneously profound, and seeing you before we even spoke knocked the wind out of my soul. You felt entirely familiar, wholly intoxicating, and I ached to know you. And standing here almost eight years later, none of that has changed. Erica, welcome to the day of our wedding. I know that these letters are usually serious, but that's not really us. We're all laughs and borderline delusion, and that's why I love you and us. Your laughter and spirit are my home, and I know when we build the rest of our lives together and grow our family, that that sentiment will lay the foundation of our journey. Let's party today and for the rest of our lives together. I love you, love Mike. <laughs> Dear Erica, while there are too many reasons to list why I'm marrying you and all the reasons I love you, there are some themes that do a pretty good job capturing them. Your selflessness, your independence, and your identity as a member of us. I cannot believe how lucky I am to be standing next to you today. Someone who I can be my fullest and purest self around, and whose fullest and purest self is the most exquisite part of my life. so overjoyed that you guys found each other. You're just such a special, special couple. Michael, I know I'm uh, uh, probably prejudiced a little bit, but uh, he's probably one of the finest young men that I've ever met. Mike, you've always been a great brother. Tonight you lead the way, becoming a great man, starting a family, marrying a beautiful woman. I'm just so proud of you. I'm proud of you for the woman that you turned out to be. She is hilarious. She's just the most authentic and <laughs> brutally honest version of herself at absolutely, I can't look at you, sorry, <laughs> at absolutely all times, which is why she is so many people's best friend. keep choosing you. You're the woman I'm confident I could get through anything with. You would live in a dumpster with me and you'd keep that same smile, enthusiasm, and level-headedness that I fell in love with you for. You are my family. Your arms are my home. Your voice makes every fear, concern, and sadness melt away. And I can't wait to spend my life sleeping in that home and resting at the sound of your voice until we're old and gray because knowing that I have you as a partner is knowing that I'll live the fullest extent of this improbable miracle called life. Thank you for finding me and choosing me. I love you forever. So thank you for being you, and thank you for being us, and thank you forever for loving me. I will tell you I appreciate you, as I always have, for the rest of my lives. In your eyes, I have found my home. In your heart, I have found my love. In your soul, I have found my mate. With you, I am whole, full, alive. You are my breath, my every heartbeat. I promise to honor and respect you as my husband and friend. I promise to grow together, but never grow up. To live life deeply with imagination and love you without pause. I promise to push you to achieve your goals. Not only stand, but fight by your side in the darkest times. I am yours, you are mine. And I choose you in a hundred worlds. In any version of reality, I'd find you. I choose you. Here's to the future of these two amazing people. And make all their dreams come true.
Michael, concern yourselves with what love does, what it does to you, your soul, for the world. Because if you tend to the love you brought into this world with patience, with imagination, and with tender perseverance, it will repay you both a thousandfold. You won't grow old. You will never grow tired. You will never grow complacent. That's what love will do for you if you let it.